Okay, so this is group 18 with Mason, Vanessa, Eric, Kevin, and George. And our problem is 8.B. So what it says is design an XS3 code converter to drive a seven segment indicator. The four inputs to the converter circuit, A, B, C, and D, represents an XS3 coded decimal digit. Assume that only input combinations representing the digit digits zero through nine can occur as inputs so that the six unused combinations are don't cares. Design your circuit using only two, three, and four input NAND gates and inverters. Try to minimize the number of gates and inverters required. And inverters required. The variables A, B, C, and D will be available from toggle switches. And max gates that we need is 16. So what an XS3 code converter is, and this is the basic definition, is a non-weighted code used to express code and decimal numbers. It is a self-complementary binary coded decimal and numerical and numerical decimal which has base representation. So basically what we did is we added three to each one of the of the rows and then turned it into a binary digit. Um, as stated above, uh, after we turned our inputs into uh, binary numbers, uh, we were able to figure out the outputs by using K maps. And if you look at the output part of our truth table, the ones represent when it's lit and the zeros represent when it's dim. Um, the only real problem we faced while constructing our truth table was figuring out the don't care values. And the numbers that you don't see on the chart represent don't cares. All right, guys, y'all probably wondering how did we determine our K maps using the truth table? Oh, uh, so pretty much just to answer your question, we determined the K maps using the truth table. Uh, the way in, to generally figure out how the K maps work is we determine the K maps by the number of variables. In our case, it was a four variable K map because of the two table consisted of four inputs, A, B, C, and D. Then from there, we determined the min and max terms. For S of P, we put ones in the min terms, swap, and zeros elsewhere, respectively. However, if it were POS, it would work the opposite way. Then we make the groups containing the terms and powers of two, like two, four, and eight, and try to cover as many elements as possible in one group. And then lastly, we find the product terms and sum them up for SOP form. So pretty much to give you a little example, uh, we can take a look here at X1. Here's the map for X1. So pretty much we see here that our don't cares in this K map are zero, one, and two. And then we have our min term at three. Then for the second row, we have our min terms at, at five and and six, and then for the third row we have our we have our min terms for twelve, and then our don't cares from thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and then in the last row of, of K one of X one we have our we have all our min terms from eight, nine, eleven, and ten. And you're probably also wondering how, yeah, how did the XS3 code influence the K maps? Well, just to sum it up, our XS3 code influences the K maps by easily determining our don't cares. In our case, zero to two were part of the three XS code that were don't cares. Then from uh, three to 12, those were our zero to nine input combinations, therefore making the rest 13 through 15, the rest of our, the rest of our don't cares making a total of six unused combinations as don't cares as stated in the problem. And then lastly, our, the, the expressions that the K maps provided where it enabled the output, which then gave us the most simplest expressions from outputs X1 through X7. The minimized expression for X1, for example, just to give you a little preview, was B, B prime plus C prime D plus CD prime plus A, and then I'll pass it on to Jorge, 
which then he will explain the most simplest logic expression we got based off our k-maps and then converted it to our NAND gate expression, which then leads to the circuit. As our partner said, uh, the simplified expressions are obtained from the k-maps. Uh, from these, we obtain x1 through x7. And uh, these are going to be the inputs that go into our seven segment display. Uh, the next step we did was to identify the similar terms in each expression to determine the number of gates that would be used. As you can see, uh, this is a small table we have um, telling us which uh, expressions share the same term. By looking at this, um, we can easily determine uh, how many gates would be uh, used in this case. Um, we have manipulated um, one of the expressions in X1 to match uh, another expression that showed up in X4. Um, we came to this conclusion after trying to manipulate each expression through Boolean algebra and also by looking at the k-maps. After this, we just set the expressions into a NAND form to, sim uh, to move into simulating the circuit. So from here, the final stage was simple simulation and integration into the uh, integrated circuit. So I'm going to leave the PowerPoint now so that I can show everybody this. And here was the three level integrated circuit that we created from here. The A, B, C, and D inputs on this side, all with their respective inverters. The level two NAND gates that functioned as similarities between all of the X values and then the X value inputs to drive the seven segment indicator. So I'm going to play this for everybody real quick. And starting from this zeroth value, our anything below this is don't cares. So we just want to start at binary three which in XS3 would be zero as it is displayed. Then we promote to one. And working up from there, making sure every segment drives correctly and every gate is working, five. Until we finally reach the final value of nine. Anything after the value will be don't cares. So we can have no matter what else comes from this, it doesn't matter. So all we have to do to present this is the each gate corresponds to an input value into several other gates. The sharing that we had to determine earlier can be found as in this value BCD squared. I'm just going to take this. Has been connected to X4 and X1 respectively so that they can function properly whenever it needs to be highlighted. Other than that, they're, ooh, yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> 